Okay, this is a having some issues with um, using a curved needle. So um, this pad that I have wrapped in a bandage, I use the Next Care. I don't usually the Max have used the Max Hold. I use the regular one that looks just like this because this tends to leave too much adhesive on my hands. But um, I take a small piece. I cut a small piece of leather from a little piece of belt that I, well, it's just leather. I got a piece of it at um, Hobby Lobby has it, Michael's has it, pretty much everywhere has a little piece of leather. Um, and I never throw anything away, so it's a scrap off of a belt when I used to do ribbon belts leather. Anyway, so I take that, take one of these Ever Loving Band-Aids and I put it on the adhesive part and then I put it on my finger and then I wrap it around and then it stays on so well, if I'm doing a lot of it, I end up, um, a lot of finishing, I end up wearing it for a few days and it keeps it waterproof so I can wash my hands and all of that stuff but with the um, regular kind not the max hold you can literally kind of work this off and pop it off especially right now because my hands are kind of sweaty because it's hot out right now so you can pop it on and off I used to put it into a smaller version of this and glue it so that I also had the pull um, and I just used a bit of, uh, the Fabri-Tac to try to keep it stuck in there a little bit better, but I kind of went back to this version recently. I also usually take this band-aid, which I'm going to do right now because I, um, Again, uh, with COVID and things, I haven't been able to find uh, the smaller versions of these that I made into a sleeve. And this version that I had is just too big for my pinky. Um, so it's annoying. So I'm going to take this and put it on because the fishing line does hurt my skin as I'm pulling it across. Okay, and it's on here. I know you're going, I know how to put on a band-aid, but anyway, this prevents a lot of skin damage here as well. Um, okay, so this helps you grip. This helps you keep it, the leather keeps the back end of the needle from going through into your skin. And so the leather is extremely important. So what you do is you put, you hold this here, this here, and this here. So it looks like this, okay? And your needle swivels against this leather pad as you're doing it, okay? And that's where you get the torque to, to put this through. Okay, so I'm up here and I'm gonna slide this in and I'm pushing against my middle finger. Okay. And pull. And if you don't do that, what happened, if you don't have this, what started happening to me is your skin starts to get really slick because it starts to callus. And especially if you're sweaty, forget about it. But the important part is the leather pad because that is where you get your pressure to be able to push it through. Okay. So we go up here and we're just doing a binding stitch along the top edge of this 3D brick cover design, which... Yep, it's one of mine because I love 
designing 3D things. Okay, and you just keep going all the way around. And to keep your hand, if your hand starts to fatigue, you can always pull the curved needle through with a pair of pliers, needle nose pliers if you want. Okay, I hope that helps you guys out with mastering the curved needle.